we are headed to DeBella's sandwich shop, presumably. Uh, I've never been there. Michael's had a sandwich from there, and Nick's never been there. So uh, we kind of have no idea what we're walking into, but we're going to go try the Bayheim Club. Um, a Bayheim Club is listed as um, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and cheddar cheese, and you get a choice of chicken or turkey. Okay, this, this is some good content. What would if you like, could have a sandwich named after you? What would you get on it? Oh, yeah, you're 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 also getting this question. Um, I didn't know we were asking smart questions. We have to. We have to. It's the content they paid for. Some form of a basil pesto kind of thing with like okay. Italian. So okay. alamo mode uh -huh. has like an Italian with basil pesto on it, and I think like that combination of things is probably okay. it would be something in the Italian meat family. Okay, that's like the best stuff to me. That'd be Hmm. Okay, I think I'm. I, I'm. Hmm. I think I'm doubling up on meat. And I'm going like maybe like a ham turkey. Probably like. That's OG. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I can double up on it. And be simple, right? Probably add some type of cheese. I think the cheese is optional. Because I I can't stick with the cheese. I can't stick with the cheese every time. Because when you go in, in this like fix. I agree with that though. In, in this, this hypothetical thing. store, when you show up somewhere, you have to get like you. Right. So like I'm gonna bake it into part of my sandwich that the cheese is different every time. Great open. Ooh. I think it looks like there's some solid things happening. Now there. that look at this. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. What I thought we were expecting. Yeah. Yeah, I think I mean with the bread like factored into it, like it's better than I think it's better than what we were expecting. Are probably. we gonna rate this one to ten? Should we should we go pre-bite rating? What you think no, it's gonna be? Just, no, just, no. Taste we're tasting. Okay, okay, we're tasting. We're, we're tasting. Right. The cheese is helping a lot more than I thought it would. I think that I think the cheese might be the hero of the sandwich for me so far. The cheese might be driving the sandwich. Yeah. Tomato was good. I would go for like some kind of flavor in this chicken. Like if the chicken had been flavored, that would have kind of done something. Maybe, yeah. What do you guys think of the overall items? How are they interacting with each other? Like how was the makeup of the sandwich? The Bayheim Club itself, like was it good items for you? I didn't realize we were gonna get so analytical. No, we have um, I mean, to be honest, like I think the chicken and, I, I think the, uh, the bacon and the cheese like blend pretty well. Yeah. Um, the chicken is kind of just it being the main item, like, takes away from the sandwich dry, a lot. Man. Yeah, it's real dry. It's dry. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, I got it with mayo. You got it with mayo, too. I right? did get it with mayo. The mayo makes it a little better, right? Um, yeah. It's, it's less dry. Yeah. Like, I'm sure he's... I got a little bit like, of oil in there, too. I put mm -hmm. oil in mine. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm totally tasting it, but it's in there. So, uh, this is something I mentioned before the episode. If you were to compare this sandwich to a Syracuse player, who would it be? Um, Marek. It's consistent. It's kind of sneaky good. It's not, like, I think obviously, like, if we were going to say this is the best sandwich we've ever had, everyone would say Elijah. But I think, like, Marek's a solid player. He's always there. He comes every day. It's a good sandwich. That's what you get out of a chicken club. You get a solid sandwich. That's pretty good. I got a really creative one, but yeah, I'll, I'll let, let you go I'll first. Let you, I'll let you go. You have a creative one. Go ahead. All right. So, it's not the best sandwich I've ever had, but it's pretty good. So, right now, just, and I'm going to elaborate on this further, I'd go with, I'd go with JG3, uh, Joe Girard III. Uh, I just think that, you know... <laughs> For a sandwich place that's 10 minutes away, like, we got to go with something that's good from long range. Okay. Um, but also not the best long range sandwich option probably in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be, that'd, yeah. Like, and that's not, and that, like, honestly, like, I would travel to get this sandwich personally because I feel like it's better than any of the sandwich op options on Syracuse's campus. But, you know, there's probably a better sandwich out there. And, you know, that's, that's just sort oh, of yeah. how things have been going with Syracuse that, you know, JG3 can 
hit hit threes at a very high rate, but Buddy and Elijah have been just unreal. So in terms of those tiers, which aren't really that far apart from each other, because to be honest, like I don't <clears throat> I don't see a sandwich getting much better than this in Syracuse. I'm sure there is, but I just like can't imagine it. I'm gonna go with Barama. And because it has its bounce back, first of all. Wow. Also because you know, I, we were talking about this a little bit off camera. Now, I didn't really have high expectations, you know, once I already knew what was in the sandwich. And then I had it, and I thought, okay, this, this, you know, this is not that bad, right? It's a lie in a couple ways. That's kind of what Barama has been at points this season. You know, maybe coming in, you're like, oh, you know, inside, you don't know. And then he has a game against, like, Virginia. And he really stepped up. I feel like he hasn't even missed since that Virginia game, right? So, like, it's not the star. Maybe it's not even that noteworthy. But you'll have it. You won't dislike your experience with it, more or less. I don't, I don't want to the bar on a score. I'm going to go with 5.3. 5.4. It's fine. Not bad. But Which one? What? 5.3. Okay. 5.3. I like that we just, like, subconsciously committed to the decimal system. Mm -hmm. Well, we like, have to. What, what to delineate a five from another five? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, now I've only had half the sandwich. The rest of you guys oh, done, yeah, had the entire true. thing. Maybe the second half is better. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I'm probably going to give it a better score. You said 5.3? Yeah. Um, 6.1. I don't know. It's yeah. like it's it's better than an average sandwich, which yeah. I would consider like a like a five flat or like sure. around so, your score. Sure. Yeah. It's better than average, but it's not breaking that good range for me yet because that would probably be like around a seven point one, just one score, one point higher. I need to go five eight, uh, split the difference. And I thought, to me, when I was thinking of a score in my head, like all right, so what am I thinking one through ten? I feel like six is I would get it again, and I already said I wouldn't get it again. So I feel like it's very close. Like, it was good. Like I said, I was not disappointed yeah. in the sandwich. Like, I, it, from some of the other companies we've named earlier where you have a sandwich and you don't enjoy it at all, it was not that. But I'm not going to get it again, so I feel like a 5.8. Uh, a, a little bit above average. That's fair.